together now. For the next few minutes, I'm going to give you the facts on Ebola. It'll take just three minutes. But first, today, given what we know, you should have no concerns about Ebola at all. None, I promise. Unless a medical professional has contacted you personally and told you of some sort of possible exposure, fear not. Do not listen to the hysterical voices on the radio and the television or read the fear-provoking words online. The people who say and write hysterical things are being very irresponsible. Here are the facts. A man contracted Ebola overseas. Tragically, he was dying in a Texas hospital. He was at his most contagious while showing the most severe symptoms. That's how Ebola works. And a health care worker at the hospital got the virus from him. She is doing well, she says, Skyping with her family from isolation just yesterday, saying she's blessed to have so much support and such great medical care. The CDC director told us, all of us, yesterday that he did indeed expect other health care workers at that hospital who treated that one dying patient to contract the virus. And that's now happened. Another health care worker at that same hospital now has Ebola. They tell us they're transferring her to Emory University Hospital in Atlanta. Now, before she showed symptoms, she flew from Cleveland to Dallas on Frontier Airlines. They say she should not have done that, but she did. But as we all now know, if you don't show symptoms, you are not contagious. She did not show symptoms, according to the doctors. Still, medical professionals are contacting everyone who was on that plane to make sure each person is okay. The CDC director says chances are very slim that any of those passengers is sick. Now, big picture, and this is important. You have to remember that in the middle of all of this, you have to remember that there is politics in the mix. With midterm elections coming, the party in charge needs to appear to be effectively leading. The party out of power needs to show that there is a lack of leadership. So the president has canceled a fundraising trip and is holding meetings and his political opponents are accusing his administration of poor leadership. For the purpose of this fact dissemination exercise, those matters are immaterial. Again, these are the facts. We do not have an outbreak of Ebola in the United States, nowhere. We do have two health care workers who contracted the disease from a dying man. They are isolated. There is no information to suggest that the virus has spread to anyone in the general population in America. Not one person in the general population in the United States. Suggestions have been made publicly that leaders and medical professionals may be lying to us. Those suggestions are completely without basis in fact. There is no evidence of any kind of which we at Fox News are aware that leaders have lied about anything regarding Ebola. I report to you with certainty this afternoon that being afraid at all is the wrong thing to do. Being petrified, and that's a quote, is ridiculous. The panic that has tanked the stock market and left people feel fearful that their children will get sick at school is counterproductive and lacks basis in fact or reason. There is no Ebola spreading in America. Should that change, our reporting will change. But there is nothing to indicate that it will. Best advice for you and your family at this moment, get a flu shot. Unlike Ebola, flu is easily transmitted. Flu, along with resulting pneumonia, killed 52,000 Americans last year alone. A flu shot will reduce your chance of getting flu. So get one. Anybody that dumb? <laughs> Got to have a... Shalom, Akiyam. This is Ariala. Yashawamba. First off, we're going to give all praise and glory to Yah Bashim Yah Shai. We want to give uh, double honor to the apostles who rule well. And we want to send salutations and peace and love to you brothers out there kicking the word in sincerity and in truth. Today, we uh, just want to go over a quick uh, topic, uh, talk about vaccines. It's kind of the big issue right now going uh, with the Ebola thing. And we wanted to do something simple to kind of, you know, describe what a vaccine is. And why in modern society, what it's supposed to be used for and go over why it does not work, you know, because a lot of misconceptions out there. So you got this guy, Shep Smith from, I believe he's Fox, a Fox News affiliate going out there spitting propaganda, talking about don't worry about Ebola, go get you a flu vaccine, a flu vaccine is, you know, can help save your life. 
this and that, that and the other. Well, you know, that's why the scriptures like the brother had, had just mentioned, man, you can't trust your enemies, man, because they, they just sent out here to, to, to speak propaganda, to lie to you, and to manipulate your mind into more and more wickedness, man. That's right. Okay, and the scriptures tell us clearly uh, about the wicked and, and the type of devices that they were going to come with, man. Yeah. So we're going to get a, a few scriptures, hit a few points, and Lord willing, it's edifying. Right, okay. and, and, and anything that the so-called white man promotes, that's when you got to check it out. Like Martin Luther King, whatever this nigga promotes, man, you have to check it out and look deeper into it because he has a, 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 a arterial motive, man. Mm -hmm. He's the devil, man. Yep. Yep. All right. So let's get this first scripture, Psalms 36 and, and 1. Psalms chapter 36 and 1. <clears throat> to the chief musician, a psalm of David, the servant of the Most High. The transgression of the wicked saith within my heart that there is no fear of God before his eyes. For he flattered himself in his own eyes mm -hmm. until his iniquity be found to be hateful. And that's what you're starting to see, man. People are starting to wake up to the fact that the so-called white man Esau, according to the Bible, you know, is hateful, man. And he is not looking for your good. He, like the brother said, this, this man has an agenda. And what is that agenda? Is to forward wickedness. Is to do and commit iniquity on the planet Earth, man. That's why Shep Smith got up there and... and, and and basically uh, made fun of everybody that were uh, have been worried or watching this Ebola outbreak very cautiously. People are watching the Ebola outbreak very cautiously because mm -hmm. this man has been found to be hateful. Yeah, people okay? people are waking up to him. Mm -hmm. right? And one of his his main arterial motives is to destroy the seed of Israel yep. off the face of the earth. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me keep going. Mm -hmm. Verse uh, 3 in Psalms 36, the words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. Go get a flu vaccine. That's what's going to save your life. <laughs> the words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. And it's a damn lie, man. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. He hath left off to be wise and to do good. Mm -hmm. Right. He deviseth mischief upon his bed. He setteth himself in a way that is not good. He abhorred. He abhorreth not evil. Yeah, man, he don't abhor evil. He loves evil. That's why he's willing to send your kids to these schools and vaccinate them, man. Mm -hmm. That's why he's willing to give you an experimental drug just to see what's going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. Because he abhorreth not evil. Mm -hmm. Look at the history of the so-called white That's man. Right. The history of the so-called white man hasn't been to forward uh, um, um, health. Right. Ever since he stepped into the rulership seat, Nothing but disease has proliferated all across the earth. There's various uh, alternatives naturally to live on the planet earth, to have energy. You know, like the brothers, like we're going into vaccines. The Lord put me uh, actual herbs and medicines in the earth, man. But does Esau promote that? No. Mm -hmm. He's to promote what? Deceit. He promote, he, yep, that's exactly what it promotes, man. The scriptures tell you that this man is going to promote deceit. Mm -hmm. Look at Micah 2 and 1. Right. This is Micah, the uh, second chapter in the first verse. It says, woe to them that devise iniquity. Yeah, Esau devises iniquity. You got the CDC, you got the World Health Organization, and you, ha you have the EPA, you have the FDA. You know, you have all these uh, institutions that Esau has created in society that is nothing but that is built for nothing but iniquity, man. Mm -hmm. They made these drugs. They made these diseases. In the lab, man, just mm -hmm. to see how it hurt, work on the human genome, man. These cancer research centers, the people who are over these, were the same people who were putting diseases in Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Are blacks. They target those groups because they're black, because they're disadvantaged in terms of not having the money typically to hire a lawyer to defend themselves. They target blacks because they go after people who they think cannot stand up for their own rights. You'll see this throughout the history of medicine and pharmaceutical experimentation on black people. Now let's continue. 1963, same guy, Chester Southam. He performs that procedure of injecting live cancer cells on 22 senile African-American female patients at the Brooklyn Jewish Chronic Disease Hospital in order to watch what happens to their immune systems. Just injects them, takes black women who are senile injects them with live cancer cells just to see what will happen. This is by a doctor right here in the United States of America. Guess what happens to this guy, Chester Southam? He becomes the president of the American Cancer Society. 
That's right. The ACS, the American Cancer Society, that claims to be helping you fight cancer, this was headed by a man who used African American women as human guinea pigs, injecting them with live cancer cells just to see what would happen to them. That, my friends, is a crime. It is a crime against these women. It is a crime against in, in uh, the 60s and 40s and all of the, in, in, uh, in the uh, older times, man. Yep. Now they've built these corporations, these cancer research centers and all of this to do what? Further more wickedness and iniquity, man. Mm -hmm. And it's gotten so bad, now you have the, uh, their own nation coming against itself, man. You have the so-called white man uh, uh, coming, ag uh, coming up against his own country mm -hmm. because he sees that the elite who control everything are set to destroy it. Mm -hmm. Man, and and they know that they're not a part of the group that's gonna live. Right. <laughs> they're the, they're they're rats, just like the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American. They're gonna be wiped out too. Right. Okay. All right. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Mm -hmm. And it's in the power of their hand to spread these uh, uh, vaccines that are doing nothing for the people. Mm -hmm. So what is a vaccine? Each B or T cell makes proteins of unique shape on its outside surface, which are called receptors. Every virus also has different shapes on its surface. These are antigens. Antigens tell the body that the virus is a pathogen and is something that should not belong in the body. Just like different keys fit different locks, each virus's antigens fit different B or T cells. If a cell has a receptor which matches the antigen of a virus, it becomes activated and divides, producing huge quantities of antibodies to disable the virus. To be exact, up to a thousand antibodies per second. So, what does this all have to do with vaccines? Vaccines expose the body to a weakened version of the virus. Even though the virus in the vaccine cannot harm you, your immune system still recognizes it as an enemy. In response, the body creates a special kind of B cell called a memory cell. Memory cells remember which antibodies work against a specific threat. After vaccination, if your body is exposed to the actual full-strength virus, the body already has memory cells, meaning it can destroy the virus much faster and more effectively. Thus, a vaccinated person is immune to the virus he or she was vaccinated for.